OK, let's have a look at this three-way switch. We've got three wires coming out here into the control panel now. We've got an orange wire, and that's coming from the middle contact on the bridge volume pot. We've got a yellow wire coming from the middle contact point on the neck volume pot. And we've got an earth wire, which is grey, which is coming from the top of the neck volume pot. So what we need to do is we need to connect up our three wires to the three contact points on this uh, three-way switch. Now, you'll see there's actually four contact points. There's three down the middle and one at the side and one at the side. So three down the middle and one at the side. That side one is an earth and the three middles correspond to the position of the switch. So if we turn that over, our three-way switch goes into position one, two, three. And it doesn't really matter which way you put this round because uh, when you're setting up your guitar, you can turn it round. So if your switch is down there for your um, bridge pickup, then you can put your bridge label down there. Or if it works out the other way around, you just need to turn it round. And there's your bridge pickup there. So what I'll do, I know that this um, orange wire is coming from the uh, bridge pickup. So I'm going to connect that to here and I'll leave this set up to that side. So I'm going to solder this orange wire to that left hand side contact point. I'll do that and we'll come back and have a look. So there you go, I've soldered that um, orange wire to the left hand side. Now the other uh, wire is the yellow wire and I'm going to solder that to the right hand side point. So I'll just do that now. So there you go, that's the orange wire from the bridge pickup, and that's coming into this left hand side, and the yellow wire from the neck pickup is coming into the right hand side. Now, this grey earth wire actually attaches to this outer wire, so I'll turn that over. Sorry, this grey wire actually attaches to this outer contact point, and that acts as the earth. So I just need to put some solder onto that. Like so. And then melt that in there. I'll just throw some more solder on that, make sure that's connected. There you go, that's the earth wire connected. And the last contact point there in the middle, that's your power output. And when you put your um, pickup pick up selector into the middle position, that'll select both pickups. So that's actually selecting both now, but we just need some power output from there. So I'll use this green wire. That comes right through the body, through the two pickup holes, through the control panel at the back, and out the back to the output socket. So that's, that wire's going to run the whole length of the guitar. So I need to trim one end and attach to that end, then feed right back through the guitar. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I've got this green wire. It's coming out here through the three-way switch control panel. It's going in through the guitar, down here to the control panel where the uh, volume and tone knobs are. And it actually feeds back, just be careful not to lose it up the top there, back through the output jack of the guitar. And you can see if I turn that round, there it is there. Now that's going through the whole length of the guitar. So one end here is going to attach to the output jack and the other end is going to attach to that middle contact point on your three-way switch. So let's start at that end and we'll solder it to the three-way switch. And there you go, I've soldered that green wire into that middle contact point there. And that's the three-way switch wired up. Now we just have to worry about the output jack. So if we come down the other end of the guitar, we'll see that other end of that green wire which we've just soldered to the output jack, so sorry, to the three-way switch, is coming out the back of the guitar where the output jack is coming. So that needs to attach to our output jack. And because that's a positive wire, that's going to attach to the outside or the tip of the output jack. Remember on the output jack there's an outer contact point and an inner contact point. 
the inner contact point is your earth and the outer tip is your active hot wire. Just make sure that's um, tight. So this green wire from the output switch, from the three-way switch, right through the body of the guitar, through the output jack hole, and to the tip of the output jack. So let's just solder that onto there. Okay, there's one more wire we need to consider. That's another earth wire. And the earth wire comes off the back of this bridge tone control back here on the left and it comes out the back of the guitar and onto the earth contact point of the output jack which is the one on the inside. So I've got a, a blue wire left over here, it's quite long, I could probably um, cut that in half actually. So I'll trim the ends of this wire and we'll cut it down a bit and we'll solder the back onto this tone knob. Okay, I've soldered one end of this blue wire onto the back of that bridge tone control. Now I'll feed that through the control panel and in through the output jack. Coming out here. So there it is through the output jack. I'll pull that all the way through. And you see that's miles too long. So what I might do is I might cut that off here. And then we can just solder that into the uh, earth on the output jack. And there we go. And there's our output jack soldered. We've got an earth wire running from the output jack to the top of the bridge tone control. And the green wire, which is your active wire, runs through the whole body of the guitar up into the three-way switch to that middle contact point. So that um, output jack, if we just sort of squeeze those contacts in, we can actually put that into the guitar like so. And there you go. We'll leave that there for the minute. All right. So just check your wiring diagram, that should be all the wires, just, uh, there you go, see one's come off, so we need to, um, that's just come off the top there, so we just need to fix that. So there you go, that's all your wiring done, just give it a good check over and just make sure everything's in place, give the wires a bit of a fiddle, make sure they don't just pull off very easily, make sure your soldering is all solid. And try and see if any wires are maybe touching another wire, because that's going to cause you a lot of... Uh, of hum and feedback. So there you go, that uh, soldering looks pretty good. I can't see any wires touching another wire. The capacitors are all in place. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll check that against the diagram, make sure I've got every wire in place before I um, set everything up. But I think that looks pretty right to go. Alright, so I've now uh, been checking the wiring and I've tested the pickups and I've noticed it's not working properly so I'm having a look at the wiring and I can see that I have missed one wire. This is why you've got to be very careful when you're doing this. Um, you follow step by step and you look very carefully at the uh, wiring diagram. There's um, a number of earth wires. There's an earth wire between the two volume pots and there's an earth wire between the two tone pots. The earth wire that I've forgotten is one earth wire from the top of the volume pot at the bridge to the top of the tone bridge pot. So I need one more wire coming from this volume pot at the top to the top of this tone pot, just under here. I'll lift that up so you can see. So from this volume pot to the top of this tone pot. So I've got one wire left over, or quite a few wires left over, so I'll just um, tin the ends of this short wire and I'll attach one end to that volume pot and one end to the tone and that should be right. And there you go, I've got this purple wire now, it's attached to the top of that volume to the top of this tone. So that's double checked all the wiring. I'll put that um, output socket back and we'll give it another test. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that now. What I might do is I might actually grab some screws from the uh, pack there. What I'll need is these four hexagonal um, nuts, four washers and four long screws. The four uh, long screws are for your output jack, they just screw in the output jack to the body of the guitar, so I'll put those aside. That's your three-way switch label, so I'll, I'll leave that aside for a minute. And these four washers and four nuts, they secure the tone and volume potentiometers to the uh, guitar. So what we'll do is we'll put those aside, we'll take our pots out of our cardboard very carefully, remembering which position they're in. And what we'll do is we'll feed these through the corresponding holes 
in the control panel. Just be very careful when you do this not to take any of the soldering off. So you'll see, they just feed through and come out the other end like so, and there they are there. So all we need to do now is just pull those through and then put the washers and the nuts on and secure them in. So let's have a go at that now. So here's the top of the potentiometer here, this is for the tone. So what are what I'll do is I'll put a, a washer over that and then one of the nuts and I'll just screw that nut on so it's hand tight and as I'm screwing on I'm pushing on from underneath so I'm pushing the potentiometer through so it's all the way through the top and there you go that's in place finger tight I'll do the other tone knob and there you go I've got the four the two tone and the two volume potentiometers through there and they're all sort of hand secured down so let's have a look at the three-way switch Watch those pickups. So there's our three-way switch. We just need to feed that through. Before we do, we'll take this hexagonal nut off and we'll take the washer off as well. And there you go, there's the three-way switch. It's been pulled through. Just pull that through at the top and push through with your other finger at the bottom. And I, what I do is I put the uh, washer on first, then I put this label on, and that's your rhythm treble label, and then I put the nut on. You can actually do it in any order, or you can even leave that washer off. And then just uh, finger tight on that hexagonal nut. And don't forget you can play around with this label, I'll leave that like that. It's usually rhythm up the top, then treble down the bottom. And you can check that against your switch. And as I said before, if it's the wrong way round, you just need to turn your um, three-way switch around. So there you go, I'll leave that there like that, that's pretty finger tight. So that's all in position, I've got that uh, three-way switch in, I've got the pickups in. And I've got the potentiometers all in at the back, and there's the output switch, uh, so the output jack. So I might just uh, screw that in now. Okay, for the output jack, I've just uh, matched up the screws with a, um, a corresponding drill bit, and you'll see I only need to come in about five mils there. So I'll just drill that out and um, screw that output jack in. And there you go, that's the output jack secured onto the body of the guitar. I won't actually screw the pickups in yet because um, I want to leave them just uh, taped in while I put the uh, neck on because I might have to move those. So that's the guitar setup. Um, that's the body of the guitar setup. We might just give that a bit of a test and see how those pickups are working. I'll put that into the treble position and this should be this pickup. And there you go. So that's that pickup working and that one shouldn't be working, which is great. I'll try the rhythm position, which is this neck pickup. That one's not working, that's great. And in the middle should be both. That's great. So there you go, our guitar's all working. Um, as I say, I won't screw these pickups in just yet. I'll leave this one just taped in so I can put the neck in and see how that pickup sits. But that's the body, that's right to go. We just need to put the um, volume and tone knobs on the top there. And that's pretty much done. Enjoy.